sometimes next year. So this is the first time we've shown it. It's research. And because it's research, it's um, a little programmer arty. <laughs> um, but I think you'll, you'll agree that it's, it does some pretty cool stuff. So what Gem's, what Gem's doing here, these are um, you know, semi-rigid bodies. Um, so you get kind of the, the bouncy balls and they interact with each other and they kind of squish and compress. Typical rigid bodies don't tend to do that. So you get this kind of you know, bouncy ball kind of effect. So one of the nice properties about this is you can build shapes and objects that you classically couldn't build with some of the other primitives. You can build flexible, squishy things. So I mentioned that we have the ability to combine simulation infrastructure and they have two-way coupling. So what we're going to do now is combine a rigid body simulation with a fluid simulation. So you can see the rigid bodies, they interact with each other, they bounce into each other and collide. Now we're throwing in water and fluids, the water displaces the rigid bodies, the rigid bodies float around and splash around, they continue to collide into each other. And you can see this is super high performance, it runs super fast, the water's fast, the rigid bodies are fast, and all the rigid bodies kind of do the right thing. You know, they, they collide, they stack, they move around, they float, they splash. So this, this is kind of showing a couple of those effects, right? Two different classes of classic physical simulation, rigid bodies and fluids, interacting with each other in a truly seamless way. These kinds of things are uh, classically hard to do, but in the, in the new flex system, they're just, they just all kind of work. So if you can do rigid bodies and you could do fluid, well, let's see, maybe you can do clock. So of course you can do clock, and you can combine clock and fluid. Again, just taking a lot of these classically separate simulation methodologies and allowing them to interact with each other, and you kind of you, you get the right effect. And this is it just kind of works. One of the really cool things about a lot of this stuff is because it's this unified system, we were able to build all these things and like literally just play and experiment. We just try things out, and you know it just it just works. The the interaction works out the way you think it will, and the visual effects and the interplay between the simulations all play out nicely, and they all play great on the GPU. So this one's kind of fun. Um, this is a, uh, we just kind of call it the squishy frog. This is a deformable. Um, classically doing rubber or uh, deformable kinds of objects in geometry has been pretty hard. So this is a deformable object. This is a, you know, a little frog guy. You can you know, move around, he squishes, he deforms, he bends, and it kind of all does the right thing. So um, we, uh, that, that first sphere demo that you saw, we, we first did that, we thought that was pretty cool, and then we started putting up water, and then, you know, as, as is usual, what happens is, you know, um, we'll show it around, and, and this time I, I was the guy to blame, like, you know what, that's pretty cool, but, you know, the first thing I think of when I think of spheres and then see water after that is, hey, could we make water balloons? Has anybody ever seen a real-time water balloon simulation? And they're like, uh, uh, I don't know, well, let's try. So, literally, you know, they whipped it up, and it turns out that you can make water balloons. It all just kind of works, right? So you've got balloons, they're filled with water, there's pressure, they react, you know, they pop holes, they leak, they squirt. You can just have the simulations work how you think they should work. They bounce around with each other. Depending on the hole that you pop, sometimes they rip open, sometimes they squirt a leak. It just kind of all works. And this is just like, this is not like a demo we set out to build. This is something that's enabled by the Flex technology that allows people to be creative with it. We just tried this out, and it turns out, and you know what, you can do that. You can actually have a second rigid body with clock and with tearing and with fluid interaction and with pressure all just work. So, I mean, this is, and we kind of saw this working, like, you know what, you could probably do a pretty fun little game, just throwing water balloons or splashing stuff, or, you know, then of course, then there's the other side of it. It's like, now I can imagine characters being built with fluid inside, you shoot them, and stuff happens, and, you know, we're in the game industry, right? And, you know, I want to have people explode and have, you know, I'm sure we'll have all sorts of, um, you know, fluids squirting out of characters uh, anytime soon now. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. So the, the last one we're going to show you, um, it, it's just because we can, frankly, um, is just what you're kind of showing off. This kind of combines a whole stuff, a whole bunch of stuff: fluid simulation, fluid rendering, water splashing, rigid body, soft body interaction, mass, kind of the whole kit caboodle. There's foam and spray in the water, um, and this is just because it all works. We we just can't. Um, you can pick up the objects, they have mass, they splash around, when you drop them they displace the water, you know. Um, we can go ahead and splash the whole thing around and you get waves and turbulence and all the all flows and it just all works and you get foam spray and it just, it's how it should be. Right, this is, um, this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, this is, we've had a bunch of guys working on research to solve, I mean these are kind of 
particularly if you're a game developer and you have to do physics systems and you have to have physics systems that work with each other, um, it, it hurts your brain a lot. It's hard. That these are really complex problems. And having a, 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 some core fundamental technology that can allow this level of cross-simulation interplay and this level of realism is just, it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. So I can't wait to see what the folks are going to do with this next year. Pretty awesome. So this is Flex. This is one of the first technologies we're announcing, again, coming to PhysX uh, next year.